Hi, and welcome to this little caddy drawing exercise, which we're going to have a go at. Uh, it's a scanned plan, so we can see we've got a scanned plan here, and what we're going to do is have a look at recreating that in a CAD form. So we're going to use CADI's AEC tools, so that's the uh, Architecture, Engineering con and Construction tools, tools that give us things like walls, doors, windows, and so on, plus uh, a lot more. And we're going to use them for creating these, so just dropping in the walls, pulling them around to the thicknesses. The, the plan is one that uh, seems to exhibit some non too straight walls uh, too. So you can see at the front, this is uh, at a bit of an angle here. So we'll, we'll just try to reproduce it as it is, rather than trying to square everything up. But there are interesting little things in here as we look through the, uh, uh, the doors and the windows. Uh, here we've got the uh, the frame being set behind uh, a reveal there, so we need to to apply an end cap to our wall there. So we'll see how we can create one of those very very quickly on the fly. Uh, we've got some piers to add in as well, and uh, we see uh, sort of different thicknesses of walls. But we've got some piers to add into a wall here. Um, the staircase there, we can maybe look at adding that on at the, at the end, but when we look here we've got things like our uh, sliding doors rather than the, the standard sort of simple uh, swing opening doors there that we need to put in. A little bit of general drafting in the, the roof lights and we could uh, maybe even just drop in a, a dotted line there to indicate that. But things like uh, uh, these openings, we can actually incorporate uh, openings there from our uh, AEC tools, just drop them in and just change the pen to a, a dotted pen. Uh, we could even put this one in here as a, an opening too and then just remove the length lines so the lines that go along the length of the wall or the length of the opening as it would be and uh, and just leave us the, the gap. Uh, we've got a, a door and uh, window here and looking at that we might need to just change it. In fact looking at the window we've got uh, a thinner uh, frame arrangement there, so it's a little bit coarse and grainy, but we can uh, identify it for the most part and even look at just changing our parameters for our window just to give us uh, something that looks more uh, as it is on the plan here. And then at the end, maybe dropping in uh, uh, the uh, the stairs, as I say, uh, we can look at things like the, uh, uh, the sanitary wear, just dropping those in too. So, uh, the drawing as it comes in has got uh, uh, red pen colour set, which is fine for for drawing and uh, uh, no doubt uh, look great on your own individual screens, but here it might be a little bit difficult to see once it's created into a video. Uh, and you'll notice we're here using a, a slightly smaller screen so that I can put it onto the, the video format, so it might just uh, slow things down a little bit. We'll see how we get on. Uh, we're going to change our pen. 26 so that we can see both uh, easily on top of the uh, uh, the, the whitey grey image that we have and also once we remove that so you can see it on the black background. So that's where we're going to start. So we'll st start the stopwatch running and then we'll just draw around, just tracing around here, we can zoom in a little bit. Uh, we not trying to straighten it up too much, but this one seems fairly straight, so we'll just drop that in. We can close that off. We can come back and we can literally just start from here, just tracing around, just drawing around over our walls that we have. And we've got this little bit of a, a return in there, so we can just drop that one across. We can just draw our wall up here, and the same sort of arrangement uh, is here, so we can just draw across to there and then up to the top and there we go and if we pick on our wall here we can just drop that across to the, the side. We've got another wall to come in here so we'll just trace that uh, across there we go, we can pull it out a little bit if it's a thicker wall and whilst we're doing that sort of thing we can just pick on our wall here, just thicken that one up we can do the same thing in here with this wall there we go and we've got the side wall too, so just literally just dropping them onto the thicknesses we have. So this one's a little bit thicker too, so we can drop that one in. We can pick up our wall here, there we go, and, and this one's just a bit uh, thicker. And we can drop in the extra walls that we have across here. And again, that one's a little bit thicker, and that one there we can just drop in across 
there and then just make it a little bit thicker too so we've got that we've got our wall which comes across from here and we can drop that one on the end and that's looking pretty good okay we can just pull that one out to there we've got the uh, junction just to sort out there so if we just switch off the image for a second and look at our diagnostics on that maybe we need to just drop this down so these join up a little bit we'll have a look at the the, the wall as it goes go back to our diagnostics and then if we just pull out uh, there we are and then we've got same sort of uh, situation here so we can just go back to uh, back to this and then if we just pull out that let's have a look see how that's getting along that's looking good too we can switch back on our image we can drop in uh, an opening across here so if we drop in our opening and then if we look at just editing the display properties for that we want an override on that because what we don't want to see are the length lines so we can turn those off <clears throat> and they're gone excuse me so we've got our doors to put in now now doors we've got some doors to to make so we've got a door style so our standard one is fine we can copy that one and we'll have that one as Q where we can have the dimensions the same as the wall but then if we uh, take our original and have that as sliding then we can have the design rules on that one being uh, for a sliding double okay so we can apply that and then if we go for our door so we've got a standard one in there so if we, we might as well have these as the ones which are going to uh, adjust to the size of the wall there we are so option end gets us the uh, next one in so we can drop that in get that the right way around and in fact so if we just pull that out a little bit there we go get a bit uh, better accuracy and then we can just drop in a wall here and that in fact if we look at that we should have kept that one as standard and if we look in where it is where it's placed we can move it within so we can just pull that up to there we can drop in our window okay so we'll drop in our window from the corner to there and and if we pick on that window and we edit the style because we need to change the d dimensions of that so if we change that to 75 and 75 that will probably look a little bit closer to what we have there uh, and then we can just move that within so if we pick it up from the corner and just drop it on there that's pretty good oh our door we just need to flick it around so we'll do that we've got our doors in here we've got sliding doors in here so we we actually look to, to create those so we'll go for our sliding ones and i'll just drop it in there and we need to just move those within just to get it to pretty much as uh, as drawn there now uh, we've got some other doors to go here but these are just going to be the standard ones we can just drop that in uh, across there so flicking that around until we've, we've got it to where we want and uh, we can do the same thing here and the same thing here there we go and if we look at that wall we can uh, you can just move it up a little bit that's better that's good i've got a door to put in here so we'll do do our door here there we go Oop. there we go and we can just put in some basic drafting okay and then uh, parallel offset there and then just choosing uh, uh, 90 degrees to that and we can just draw that in and then just copy that across and if you copy that across to there that's got that one done we can drop in our window here so we've got a window and we'll just do that freehand from uh, there to there and we can just move that uh, within and just pull that forward to there because then using our construction lines drop that down there and uh, in fact if we just do uh, 
uh, parallel uh, 65 mil away because that's what the uh, the size of the return is. So I'm take that to there, to there, to there, to there, and then if we take this wall and we just create it as a unique wall, um, then we can just create the end cap closer for this wall. So I just say it's Q. That'll be fine. We'll just apply it to the window, and it's 65, but it's a, a minor, so we can click on that. And it says which component, well component zero because there's only one. And there we've got our window uh, set as it should be. We can change the sill, have an override on that. So I just change that to be 50 in both cases. And that should sort that window out quite nicely. Now uh, we've got uh, our peer to put into this wall. So we can go uh, wall quick plan modifier. So I just start here. Add to here, add to here, add to here, and then we can do the same thing up here. And then we can drop in a wall down here, so we'll go for a wall. So if we just say, okay, it's from there to there, it's a little too wide, so we can just pull that back in there. And if we want it to join in, so we can just drop that back to there. We can go for our doors. And that will do fine. So we just drop it in in this wall here. There we go. And drop in just a bit of basic drafting. So just drop in to here. And uh, we'll change the parameters of that to dashed, and then we'll copy it across. We've got just a, a bit of uh, line work to do just on here so we can drop that across there okay we can just move that slightly uh, up the way and change the, the properties of that to dashed and that's pretty much our drawing apart from just adding in uh, an opening here so we need an opening which we're just going to take freehand from there to there and then if we pick that opening we can just make that dashed too so there just turning off the uh, lines there, we've pretty much got our drawing, so that's at nine minutes. And if we just turn it back on again, we could even look to put in the stairs. So go for our stairs, and uh, this is probably 225, so I'll just drop them in there and just drop in the stair up there. Uh, we can even take that stair and uh, edit the display of that in the plan, so I'll have that as an override, maybe just make it unique. Um, we can put in a cut line, we'll do that 1400, we don't want a second one, 25 degrees is fine, we'll have an arrow which is maybe 225, so it'll be fine. And then we don't want the outline above the cut plane, so we'll say no to that. Apply, apply it, and there we have our stair, and of course we need just a wall in uh, here, so we can uh, have our wall coming across to there, which we can just drop back, we can go for our doors and just drop it in again, very quick, very simple and as far as uh, sanitary way goes, if we go to our component manager here, let's just drag that out so we can see it a little better, just picking that, we can turn it around, so we'll just rotate it 90 degrees and drop it down there and that's a little big, so if we go to our object properties, we could change that to maybe three quarters of size. Okay, and then back to the component manager, and if we come down the list and we look for our WCs, so WCs, going to the blocks there, so we just come down the list in our WCs, and something, there we go. Pick on something like that, and just drop that in there. So I've got our finished drawing here, we can delete all the construction lines and turn off uh, the image and we can see there it is.